Hey boys, welcome back to some Cricket 19, and it is going to be a brand new career mode. Will Pekoski, you know, I, I, I sort of, I, I had the, the itch, I had the, the desire to go back to some Cricket 19, and I, I was just going to continue my, my original career mode, but I thought, you know what, Pekoski, youngster coming through, obviously a bit of, bit of, a uh, bit of annoyance with the, with the latest concussion for him, but he was... He, he was probably going to get a spot in that uh, in the top order uh, for this Indian series, but we'll uh, we'll see. I'm sure he'll get his chance soon enough. But I thought, you know what? Let's let's play a little career mode with him. So this will be uh, this is like the start of the well, yeah, it's the World Cup. So I think it was like June 2019. So we'll, we'll, we'll you know for the for the game sense, we'll call it the 2020 career mode of Will Pekoski, but yeah, we're starting out in, uh, in the, in the World Cup, the one day World Cup, so good little, good little experience for, for Will, and, um, I'm excited to, I'm excited to get into it, honestly, I, uh, you know, it's, it's always, it's sort of the thing, like, I, uh, the Big Bash is back, the, the first test against India, it's starting tomorrow, Thursday, so, yeah, cricket is well and truly back on the calendar, obviously, we had the, we had the international 50 over in T20 stuff, but honestly, I, I didn't even keep up with it too much because Cricket Australia are, are complete jokes and, <laughs> and and stop free to air coverage of international shorter form cricket, which is just, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. That, I mean, that's another, that's another rant for another video, but um, yeah, we're, we're back into the swing of things as we come out for our debut, Will Pekoski at the crease taking on uh afghanistan so not uh i mean they're, they're they're a surprise packer they definitely have some uh some good players as you can see rashid khan having uh having a trundle i think he was the captain too but they got some good bowlers they got some very good bowlers and a, a couple of a couple of very talented batters but uh, probably the depth and the you know the overall consistency is what's gonna stop afghanistan but uh, majib also coming in he's got he's picked up the three wickets so the spin is always going to trouble the uh the australians but we get off the mark with a with a nicely worked two off the hip there so i mean i'm i'm keen this is it's going to be good we're going to be yeah playing in this uh 50 over comp i don't know what's going to be next on the agenda probably well it's it's early in the year so after this world cup we're probably going to go back to state cricket I would imagine, and then uh, and then hopefully we can perform in in state level, and and then find ourselves in in the international team and in the longer cricket or whatever's coming up in the in the summer. So yeah, we we look like <laughs> it looks like this one's going to be a bit of a bit of a cruisy match. I didn't actually see our team. Obviously, Peter Neville is is the keeper, which is a little bit strange. I mean, I still. I still think Neville is that is a quality shot. Just a, a flick of the wrist there through through the covers, but I still think Neville was pretty unlucky to be dropped from the from the Test side as the as the keeper batsman. But you know, I, I think it's just, I think he he was he was fortunate to get into the team originally. I I, I thought we had better options, but then uh, yeah, I, I thought he was a little unlucky to be dropped. Um, but I think it's going well now, and we've obviously got. We got some good young players coming through. I've talked about this before, but obviously carries. That is again not not great fielding it at uh, short third man there. Gully region. He's he sort of just let that one go through. It was a good shot. We we just hit on top of it. Uh, Rashid Khan. He's bowling tidy. He does not like getting hit for boundaries. So trying to trying to put the pressure back on him. But um, as uh, again they got there. They got there fine and. Uh, and third man, very, very fine there. Usually you'd get a couple of runs for that one, but not uh, not the case. Um, but yeah, talking about the keepers for a second, obviously Alex Carey is the, I mean, he's sort of the, the man that that's tipped to sort of take over the reins. And probably in, in all forms of cricket, I, I think Carey has the most, I was going to say potential, not, not really potential. I mean, Josh Philippi is probably the most potential in shorter form cricket. Um, he is just an absolute class, class player. Josh Inglis also in the shorter form. Uh, ben McDermott also. Like, Ben McDermott, you'd probably look at as more of a, a batter, but he is he is the keeper as well. I mean, McDermott is... is uh, 
is very, very talented. And I'd love to see him, but there's too many. <laughs> Australia's got too many good young keeper batsmen. I feel like after Gilchrist, um, actually that's not really fair. We had after Gilchrist, we had Brad Haddon who who did a outstanding job. Um, you know, he wasn't a Gilchrist, but he he was pretty damn good. And then probably after Haddon, we we had a little bit of trouble finding that next player. But obviously Tim Payne is, you know, he's come back in. Is that one? Did we hit that? I thought we got a little under edge on that. <laughs> Did, am I am I losing my mind? Or was that a free hit? What? Am I am I going crazy? I I, I swore that deviated off the under edge. Maybe not. Maybe I am. Maybe I am just blind. Um. Oh baby, what a shot! <laughs> Look at that for a shot. Just 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 timing. That. Uh, Nothing, nothing powerful or extravagant in that one. That is just a flick and uh, straight driven for, for four. So, 234 the target still. Myself and Neville doing a, doing a fantastic job. So, this is a, this is a good little warm-up for us, for sure. Getting into our groove, getting condition, you know, getting the feel of the conditions out here. Getting a feel for some, you know, good spin bowling. I mean, I, I feel like Bukowski, like most Australians, is going to be more adept at the pace. So... Facing these quality spinners in the first game, whilst also not being under too much pressure, is is ideal. is is absolutely ideal, and uh, we're we're doing a we're doing a stellar job so far. But um, but yeah, uh, yeah, we, like I was gonna just finish off on probably after yeah after Haddon, it was a bit of a who have we got to choose from but now there, there's so many coming through so it's uh, we we'll probably hit a Australian cricket it, you know in cricket for every country it does go in spits and spurts I mean there's times where you know India had no pace bowlers at all um uh and now that you know they got quality pace bowlers coming through and you know it, every team goes through you know moments of you know a couple of Key players retire, trying to find that next batch to come through. And I think Australia, at the moment, are poised pretty well. Pretty well. Um, especially some of the real youngsters. I mean, Cameron Green, the all-rounder. Um, I mean, even Jack Wildermuth has sort of put his hand up as that all-round option. So, yeah, there, there's some there's some good things coming through for Australian cricket. And, and Will Bukowski, I don't even know how old is he. He must be... Was he like 21? I, I don't even I don't even know how old Will is, but he's definitely not, he might even be 19, 20. <laughs> he's not he's not old at all. So yeah, some some very good, very young cricketers coming through for Australia. And uh, it looks like yeah, we need 34 of 79. This one, like I said, it, it's a good little warm up, good little introduction to the series because <laughs> not too much pressure on uh, on us at the minute. We'd love to be here for the end, and and uh, you know. I don't know. We probably won't get a 50, but it'd be nice just to to be here for the winning runs with uh, with Pete Neville. Is it's a good little shot down the ground. Didn't really get too much on it, but another another single there. And yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna cruise home for a nice early victory in the World Cup. You wanna? I mean, these games they're a danger game because obviously they're the team you expect to beat. Um, you know, and if you lose these games, then it's gonna make progressing very difficult but um they, they they're danger they're danger matches afghanistan like i said if if their key players all play their best cricket they could they could definitely topple the top teams i said what the hell what a delivery dude <laughs> look at this one jag in oh my goodness i was playing for the cut shot <laughs> it's it's cleaned up like stump i i mean I guess we, we we played down the wrong line without doubt, but wow, that one I mean that was the big hooping in swinger, but then it went off the seam as well. That was that was ridiculous. So unfortunately we're not gonna be there for the for the winning runs, but regardless we do get the victory and uh look at this one. <laughs> it it doesn't look as crazy on replay, but that that was unbelievable. So there we go. Chad Sayers in the Australian team there picking up three wickets, Pat Cummins, Joe Burns got a wicket, Stoyness, so Hopefully, guys are going to enjoy this uh, Will Pekowski career mode. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.